Hello everyone, we are back with another round of solving problems with Turing and today will be a great day because we're gonna use TDD to solve problems. Have you guys using TDD uh, before that? No? I will have to... I hope I can get some help for you on the chat as we did at the last time. Okay, so... Um, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Just wait for more people to join and then we're going to start uh, solving problems today. The problem that we are going to be solving today is this problem. Okay, let me put it this way. So, this is a really, really, really easy problem. Okay, but it's the basic for you to solve many of the problems. Okay, we need to find uh, duplicate values in the array. Okay, uh, this is easy as I mentioned, and but we're not gonna solve that uh, here at the first time. We're gonna solve that using TDD, and that is what I hope that can aggregate value to you today. Okay, let me check the chat. Let me check the check and see who is on. Um, let's see. Okay, one second. All right, how are you guys doing today? Okay, I see. One second. I see in the chat. Okay, I see. Say in the chat. Can't trust this platform. It's up to you. Be sure, Panda. This is a nice topic. Thank you for bringing this. Nice to meet you again, Be sure. Uh, what's what happened? Say, uh, maybe people has problem. Maybe has any problem? Yeah. I don't think you are happy to write something like that in the chat, right? Do you feel comfortable writing this kind of thing? I pretty much sure no. Okay. So. All right, uh, thank you, be sure for your word. This platform take much time to get matched. I'm waiting more than two months. It's really sad. It is, but you get there, right? All right, so let's let's dive into the topic that we're going to be solving today. So today uh, we're going to be solving these problems, okay, to find duplicates. Uh, contain if contains duplicate if an array contains duplicates as I mentioned this is an easy problem okay uh, let me read it for you give give an array uh, nums uh, integer array nums okay return true if any value appear twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct okay what, what it's asking us to do here, you're not seeing me, but now you will be able to see me? No. All right, so uh, let me move back to this. What is asking us to do here? It's asking us to iterate over the array. There's many, many, many uh, ways to iterate the array, okay? And check if it has a duplicate value. And, and as I mentioned before, this is the basics for you to do any problem, okay? 
to, to know how to find duplicates. All right, so, but we're not gonna use uh, our playground today. We're gonna use another playground. So we're gonna use this Visual Studio Code, okay, uh, to solve this because we are gonna solve that using TDD. I'll, I'm gonna introduce the, the basics, the basic, the basic concepts of TDD for you guys today, right? Let's change the music. Yeah. All right. So, and what's TDD? Okay. Uh, do you guys know what TDD is? Please leave a message into the chat. Uh, what do you understand about TDD? Okay. TDD is a test driven, uh, test driven development, which means if you have a problem, you need to think how to test it before you write the solution for your code. So what it will do, you first will write a test. Okay. Uh, this test will fail, of course. Then you go and make this test pass, right? Guilherme Diniz, I don't know what TDD means. TDD is test driven development. I'm gonna explain you in practice today. I'll introduce you to TDD and I promise I'm gonna create a video more uh, elaborated to explain all the concepts. Okay, today we're gonna solve it in a practice way. Let's start creating our first test. First, I'm gonna create one file called, let's see, um, let's check this and say, contains duplicate, okay? Let me copy this name. So, contains duplicate, all right. So I have this file, this project, and it has only JS. I'm gonna use JS for today's uh, call, okay? And I create one script, which is uh, just, Okay, stop it. Just watch all. What it will do? It will all, uh, watch all the tests that I write and continuously test it on the fly. Okay? And how do I execute that? So go to the console and set and type npm test. I'm gonna use JavaScript, but you can use uh, uh, the libraries that are more suitable for your test uh, environment. Okay? Your tech stack. So. I'm, I'm gonna run npm test and then it will start watching all the files, okay? And there's no test to run, okay? Exit, exiting with the code zero. And I'm going to create our first test, okay? I'm gonna create a new file and I'll pick up this name, okay? Contains duplicated because if you look here, you see that there's this contains duplicated function which we're going to be testing using TDD. Okay, let's do this. So let me create uh, a new file called contains duplicate dot test dot JS because I'm going to use JavaScript, right? And then uh, it says your your switch failed to run because uh, your test suite must contain at least one test. And let's create one test, okay? First, we need to describe, okay? And describe accept two arguments. One is the description, I would say. So let's create the description and call it a uh, the first uh, during live DDD on YouTube ever three exclamation mark I love that the second argument is a function that will be called every time okay it's a callback function I would say a callback function right all right so we have our uh, we have our describe here and then we need to create test case for that I will start with the word it dot to do because this will be when you write a to-do, to-do will pass the test without executing anything, okay? So, what's the first thing that we need to check? We need to check if you have a function to test, okay? Because for now, we don't have anything. So, let's create a, a to-do to, uh, 
should be able to um, I would say to have just to, to, to see the function name okay all right if I save this you see that my I have one test here and one pass okay are you guys seeing that hey Jefton Jefton from Nigeria all right so do you see I pass in one test right because I just create a to do so let me recite this then you will be able to see everything okay so let's implement this to do okay so to do is one way for you to uh, write what you need to do in the future okay and to implement the test to write the actual test we need to remove to do and as described uh, as a dis the described function the IT function also accepts needs two argument the second main argument is also a callback function that will be called okay and we in this function we expect okay we, we expect expect uh, let's call our function name so contains duplicated okay to be uh, to be to be we are comparing two values okay to be uh, let's say dot name okay what we're gonna do we're gonna get the name from the function and check if the name of the function is equal to this string if I run this our test will fail right because to be let's see one parenthesis two dot b yeah and let's create our function to be what's it saying compare value okay no visual difference our test failed because i don't have this function let's go to the top of the file and create this function i'm going to create all uh, uh, um, the function at the same file to make it easy for you to see and to test that okay so let's create a function okay functions contains duplicate I'm not gonna pass any argument for now, but if I save it, okay, we have a to be expect this to, okay, to be is not with point, it's to be. So let me comment this. You see our function will fail, okay, because it's uh, trying to check the name. Uh, and then if I write the function at the top, it will should pass in the test. Okay, it should pass in the test. And we can write many inspect inside this this uh, iteration. Okay, let's create another one. Expect. Um, let's see. Expect what? New. Whoops. New new function okay expect new function dot to be uh, this is not a uh, uh, new function this is a function okay if we execute this let's see to be what's going on in here uh, function contains duplicated to be Okay, let's change to to have. What's going on? Um, function and contain duplicate. It's a function. We can console log this. Let's console log function and see what we're getting here. Object function. It's a function. Okay, this is a function. It return a function. All right. Function. Okay, let's keep this test for now. Let's test the duplicated. Let's see. I guess it type off. We could check the type off too. Uh, then we have to check strings. Okay. Uh, function to be. Let's go with to be. Uh, type of this let's see 
to be to be what why it's failing okay function with a lower case uh create a uh, upper case okay so now we have one iteration we have two expectations right we have one expectation uh that the type of for that word that uh object will be a function so we have a function and also we expect that that function the name of that function uh must be the same name of the function in that case it will make not make sense but you see as long as we do that it will start making sense right and then okay so let's see uh bishop on the hey jose what's that behind your writing javascript not okay behind me yeah it's javascript but i don't have the space i have to break the line it's javascript did i miss anything it's creepy. because my daughter uh every time she is Crip. ah yeah my i have a, a 10 years old boy that keeps swapping the letters yeah all right so let's create our next iteration okay i will create a new it yeah my boys make me pranking me okay let's create another iteration and what we're gonna test let's test if it has a, a parameter okay we need to contains duplicate and the param should be an array right so how would you test that? Let's create one. Uh, let's create one iteration to test uh, uh, the implementation. Okay, test should pass in the um, first iteration. Should handle. Let's say should handle a, a empty param. Okay should handle an empty uh, array okay so our next iteration is this function should should handle an empty empty array if you pass an empty array what do we expect it to return if we go back if we go back to this explanation you will see if it has no um duplicated uh arrays okay duplicate item in array should return false right and if you send an array with uh, no uh, argument it should return false right so how do we test that let's come back to our tests uh, all right so then we have let me create a const okay param and this will be an empty array so I'm going to execute that function and that function should return false if I pass an empty array, right? So, uh, how we do that? We're going to expect, expect, okay, uh, false. There's many ways to do that. I will do this way to make easy for you to understand, okay? To be, then I'm going to, I'm going to execute this function now okay if i execute this function it should be false it should return false if my param is empty okay let's make the test it fail why it's failing because we are getting undefined because that function is returning nothing and we are expecting false okay and then let's implement that let's make it pass in the first test all right so i'm gonna receive an array array okay i'll call it items call items and then i have to do the first uh check okay if items how do you test if an array is empty dot length length is equal to zero right what should we do return uh false this will it should pass in the test let's see what length 
items. I have items, then I have these items.length. Length, item.length. What is doing here? Cannot read properties. Length. Length. Items. If you don't pass items, it should be an array. Okay, now it passed. It's passing in the test, right? Okay, so now it's passing the first test. Now let's make a test to handle the success case. Okay, uh, should handle empty array and return false for our second iteration. Now let's make the, the iteration for a, a success case. Okay, I'm gonna create an iteration. Okay, and say should pass in the test. Uh, the success test, I mean the happy path. Should pass in the happy path. All right, so let's create a new function here. And what we expect here? We expect, okay, let's create a new variable you guys seen that right you are not passing params high developers high cosme high developers high meta all right we're not passing params but now we are let's see let's make it pass in a happy path okay so uh happy path we expect let's create a new variable here const const uh how can i call that param oh i'm not passing the params here. I got you, Bishop. So let me do the following. I'm going to let me comment this. Yeah, you are right. I, I forgot to, to pass the params. And then let's duplicate this test and pass param inside this, right? Now we have to expect for the second iteration. Yeah. So it's passing, right? If, if, if I pass anything inside, we have the test will fail, right? Because we need to, we are testing if, uh, okay, if zero, okay, it's, yeah, because we need to implement the happy path now. Let's do that then. Let's make it pass and let's implement the happy path, okay? The happy path will be params will receive one, two, and three. All right, this is a success case. And then we, we have to write. So expect, expect true, because this is a Boolean function, okay? Expect true uh, dot two B, then we're gonna execute the same thing here, okay? Params, param here, and it should return true. Okay, if I do that, this test will fail, right? And then if we scroll up, we're gonna see that we are expecting true. Are you guys seeing? Yes, but uh, we got under under finite. Okay, I'm missing the argument. I'm missing things. Okay, uh, let me fix this because expect is for you to execute, actually execute, and you you pass the value that you want in the second argument, to be the second argument. Now, when you read that, you are expecting true, but you receive undefined, okay? And let's make it pass in the happy path, and then we can come back here and fix it and work on the add cases, because this is all about add cases, okay? How would you implement this? Um, okay, really, really, really easy way to do that. So I'm gonna create a new set, const new set, okay, uh, new set, new set. Uh, it will receive a new set, okay, and I'm going to explode items here, okay. I'm gonna do. I'm going to explode new set what's happening new set 
Number one, I tell it to Goku not be proper of symbol. Okay, I need a list. So I'm gonna create. Uh, I just can pass the array here. Okay, I'm gonna create an, a set from this array. I'm gonna create a set from this array, and then I can return return. Um, rather than the new set, I'll call it my set. So I'm gonna return my set dot length. Okay, uh, my set dot length. Let's see what it's returning. Undefined. It. My set dot length. Let me execute that. Okay, um, my set, my set, my set dot length. It's a function equal to items dot length. It should do the job. Okay. It should do the job. Let me explode this guy here. One, two, three. Let's see. Okay. My set. I have items and set.length. We need to figure out how to check, get the length from a set. Hi, Jose Carlos. We need to figure out how to get the length from a set, from my set. Let's do this. Uh, Java is script set length. Let's see. Size is not length, guys. It's size, right? Let's come back to our solution and change it to size. All right. So it's passing the test, and it it will pass in basically all many tests. Okay. So we are expecting that this. It's a happy path. Okay, I'll, I'm going to duplicate that. I will get my, uh, this is a const, so I will get my param here and I will push a duplicated value. Okay, I'm gonna push number one. Okay, and I will update my expectation to be false because it should be false, right? Because now params has one as a duplicated value. Does it make sense? Thank you, Meta Metaha. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Did you guys uh, did you guys get what I just did here? Did you guys get what I just did here? I create a function to check duplicates with two lines. Okay, yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's do this test, okay? Uh, one, two, three. Let me duplicate this. Let me duplicate this and add a four here. So it should pass because it will return true, okay? Now we have three tests. We have one switch and we have true, true test passed, right? Because that function is doing this, is doing its job. That function is doing its job, right? Check if it has a duplicated value. All right. So uh, let's try to cover add cases. What add cases we have to uh, cover? For example, we are co we are already covering undefined, okay, in this line. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at this problem statement, okay? Because this is what usually happens. When you are working on a project in a company, they will, uh, someone from the business teams will come out with, we come in with the, the problem, their problems, okay? And in most of the case, your manager will do the job or your manager or, or an architect or a staff dev will do the job to write a document for you. Uh, a requirement document, okay? And in this document, they will tell everything that you need to complete that task. Let's analyze this and check what's going wrong here, okay? Um, all right, all right. I think I did something wrong here, okay? So, what the problem just said is, if you have duplicated, you will return true, right? If it not, you're gonna return false. Let's see if we did that. 
Yeah, Bishop, you are right. All right, so. If it's true, okay, we're gonna be turning true if this is different, right? And then it will break all our tests. Okay, and this could happen. You implement a wrong solution or make change in your test and then uh, in your code and then you have to uh, go back to your test and make it pass because if you don't do that if you just update the code what will happen your PR will be declined it could be declined by the your peers that doing code review or it could be declined by uh, your uh, CI Okay, because it will run the test and if you fail, it will reject your PR. So now we update this. This function should be good for now, but you need to come back to the test and update all the tests. And how do we know what we need to update? We need to execute that and check the list. Okay, and in my list, what you are saying is, what you are seeing is, it's failing in pass the happy path. So what, what it means, I don't need to go uh, test by test, file by file, and check all the tests. I will just update the tests that fail. Okay, and then it says, it's up, it's, uh, it, I need to update this test. And just swap the, the word here. Okay, true, false, false, true. And then when I save, boom, everything is working fine, right? Codes, yeah, it's too late against CS in week. Okay, but in TDD, should we change the test case first, right? Yes, you are right. You have to update the test case first. And what could happen, what could happen in your company is, the test uh, is written for something else, someone else, okay, for another team. And then when it comes to you to developer the solution, you will already have the test, okay? And then, if you find something wrong in your solution, you need to uh, create a request for them to update the test, okay? Uh, or they will, if they find something wrong, they will update the test and make a request for you to, uh, to adjust the functions, okay? All right, let's go back to this and let's think about edge cases. Okay, what add cases uh, we could face in here? The add cases. So, what is saying? Uh, it's saying that if the the contains okay, nums length is uh, less than ten a, a, five, a fifth. How would you check that? It means that the length of the array should be less than this, okay? Um, how would you cover that? Because here it's not mentioned what we need to return if we execute that. What we can do is throw an exception and catch that exception, right? In our test. But for now, let's do this. Let's do the following. Let's get our solution. Okay, let's try to improve it a little bit. Which is site is it? Interview before. Okay, I will give you some time to ask question in the end. Okay, but for now, let's get this code. Let's improve our code. Okay, so how would be another way to do this? Let's create a hash table for that, and I'm gonna show you something nice today okay so let's create our code let's improve our function okay to make it uh i would say uh faster let's go for a for loop a regular for loop here okay let i will receive zero we're going from the left to the right okay and i uh should be less than items right dot length items dot length i'm gonna increment that by one so i'm gonna show you another way to check duplicated values right so okay 
what we're gonna do rather than use a set today i'm gonna use a map we can use a set too let's go with a set const my set receive a new set okay you're gonna receive a new set and then what you're gonna do first thing if uh, if items okay dot items i that iteration it's the number that we want right so let's do this cons item receive this and then we're gonna work with this variable so we're gonna check if that item is our in our set and is it it is yes code all right so let's do this then um if my set dot has this guy let's do the opposite if my set do not contain this guy i will add in my set okay uh, my set oops my set dot add item okay item here i don't need to do this i will add this set in my item but now my test is failing okay then i will skip continue continue rather than that uh return okay so if it's not i'll add and skip so return true okay and let's see else return false let's let's check our solution before we save and run the test okay if it's not in my set i'll add and i will skip the rest if it's in my set i'm gonna return false and if i add every single element it will return true then i have a return what all right so let's let's check it's else should return true so let's check we i have one one it's not in my set i'll add i'll add one and skip and then i go two um and then i go three okay i don't it's, mm, <laughs> so let's do the opposite okay so if it's in my i will return i will return false because we found it else i will add my set dot add item right uh, set item and what else we need to do which you should return should i return true from here i will return true true here let's see it's not passing the in our test why is not passing bishop hmm so how would you check for duplicated if it has go to here okay i'm returning expected value to be undefined view on the fine i'm not returning what is going wrong in the if condition we should return true ah of course i am swapping things true okay it should return true 
right? It will return true. And then, if not, it will do this. Otherwise, it will return false. Yeah, because I'm with the everything wrong in my mind. Yes, thank you, Bishop. Let's see, set stack both. Yeah, that's the collusion. After the loop, it should return false. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Yeah, all right, so all right, and how can we improve this loop? Any ideas to improve that? How can we improve that? What is the time complexity for this solution? This solution is a, a ON, right? Because you are go from one to the length of the array, right? All right, so how can we improve that? But before that, let me copy this solution, okay? To, let me copy this solution to that code, yeah, to here, okay, copy and paste, okay, and let's see, nums, I have to replace this, but before replace const, I'm not gonna replace items, receive nums, then I have everything here, right, Da. let me do this for loop, okay, Let's run this code here. Oh, when we should, you are right. So let's run this code. Passing, right? Let's do the, let's run uh, against all the test case. Okay. And do you guys think that we are covering all the edge cases for this, um, for this, I would add something here. Okay. If, items is i if items mm, equals to undefined or or this we're going to return false and let's go back to there and check if this will pass in our test case let's save and run yeah. Okay. One thing. One more thing that I would like to share with you today. Okay. You have. You can. You are seeing. Yeah. You can check the coverage for your. Um, okay. Let's go back to this. You can check the coverage of your project. If I run. If I come back to npm package. Okay. And add dash dash coverage. And stop and run the test again, run the switch again, it should create a folder with the coverage, okay? And it will say, okay, from all files, uh, let's see what they are saying here. So we have all files tested. Okay, we have the coverage, we have the report, and we have the XML, uh, the XML, we have a lot of things that you can check in your solution okay in your project so for this we are uh on the time okay we are over time i will keep i'll cut this uh from here and if you guys want we can come back with another live uh talking about tdd okay solve problems with tests and introduce tdd in our lives okay so as that said do you guys have any question for us? You can put in the chat. Then I will try to answer that. Okay? 10 minutes to so to answer questions. And let me know if you guys think the TDD is a good uh, good idea to uh, have in your projects. All right. No questions today, you guys are very shy using JS array methods. So this is, uh, okay, index of, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the solutions. Okay, you guys are, are, are very shy today to ask questions. 
Uh, as that said, it was really nice experience. Thank you so much for sharing. Don't forget to hit a like button if you guys didn't hit the like button yet. Okay, you can share our lives with your uh, with your friends. Okay, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, with like is uh, get shortly for two second. Okay, let me read. I think TDD is a good approach. TDD is a good approach for sure. How likely? Okay, we have a question from for, uh, from Tech with Talk. How likely is it to get shortlisted for second time for any job? So, what I think is, uh, let me see if I got your uh, question. Okay, you come to Turi once and you didn't pass and you are trying to get the second chance or you you come to Turing, you uh, pass in the test, you got a job and then you are looking for your second job. Please clarify that for me, two different things. Okay, uh, Methan says, uh, it's like I have no for you for years. It's like I have no you for years, nice. Yeah, nice. I would like to see you all. Uh, okay, maybe we can we can plan a Zoom meeting with all of you. We we can ask questions uh, directly, face to face. That will be really nice. Okay, Bishu said thank you, Jose, this session. So I appreciate your comments. Okay, uh, Priyanka says, can you do cost management topics as well, please? Yeah. Let's do that cost management process. That will be great. Okay. Uh, let me take this sticker, this down, write down this cost management. Let me write down this real quick. All right. Let's write down. Okay. Okay. So many windows. So many windows. Okay. Going back to see you now. All right, next one. Uh, tell us about uh, recessions. Recession. Tell us about recessions. Recessions. Could you please clarify a little bit? Uh, Ojahid, clarify it a little bit. I would like to get some ideas from you. Nice. We can have a section with design pattern and best to practice. That's great. Let me write down these two. Design patterns and best practice. So we're gonna get really good insights today. Let's see. Uh, Mr. William, thank you. It would be great, it would be great. Thank you all. Okay, let me read the question for tech with talk again. The first time I got a job match, but unfortunately could make it. How likely is it to get shortlist for second job? Okay, I got you. So, it's my first understanding. You, you came to Turin, you didn't pass, you are looking for your second chance, okay? So, if you are shortlisted and you come to Turin for an interview and you didn't pass during the interview or you didn't, for any reason, you didn't come to Turin, you go direct to the client and you didn't pass there, uh, you will not be, your profile will not be affected, okay? So, you just need to wait uh, to get matched again. Okay. Did he answer? You, did it answer your question? Okay. Uh, man, Academy has a good question. How to bring a team in TDD? Okay, TDD. You know that TDD is extra code, right? But uh, you should encourage them to do that. Why? Because see, because. Uh, when, let's suppose you have a task and then you spend one day to complete that task, but you do, you didn't do any task there, right? And then, uh, it goes to production and when your website goes to production and the users start, uh, interacting with that part of code and they find, or they face an issue with that part of code and for some reason, uh, it is, for example, if you want to uh, turn the lights on and then when you press a button, the lights do not turn on. Okay, what could happen? 
uh, if it's a, a embedded pro, a project, they will not buy your product anymore because they are trying to hit, uh, turn the lights on and your product is not working. If it's a website and then when they use, the user go to your uh, e-commerce and select a thousand dollars of uh, products and press buy, okay, go to checkout and that button do not work because you didn't cover ad cases, okay? So you are losing money for that. What, what I usually do when we come out with this discussion, okay? This, what we do, we evaluate, okay, the time that the developer needs to develop the, the, the tests, okay, against uh, how crucial that task is for the company. So you can discuss that with your manager, okay, and see, okay, I have one day to complete that. If I do test, it's two days, but uh, I, I will postpone the deployment for that task, but I guarantee you guys will face less bugs in production, okay? It could save money, it could save your company, okay? And, and believe me, I passed that once, okay? Uh, I was working for a company and I I just missed a test and rather than pass 1,000 in the credit card, I passed $1 in the credit card for over, okay, a thousand um, shoppers and we have a big problem for that and that was my fault because I didn't cover some ad case and we didn't test that at all so uh, I think you would like to avoid that so to introduce TDD you have to learn TDD and then starting uh, small okay with small things you, you have to train a small team to do TDD and then spread that knowledge across your team Okay, um, all right, let's see. Thank you, Duran. Renato Mello says, thank you, Duran. Um, let's see, I would like to know my shortcomings. Hmm. It's nice. Hi, Jose, can I, can I send an email personally to get guidelines, to get method? It's really helpful, I have passed all the tests. You can, uh, you can read me out on LinkedIn. Go there and then we can talk uh, from there. Okay. Uh, which libraries you use for testing? Okay. I have one before. Okay. Now be sure said you can reach me out in on LinkedIn and can, you can uh, add me there. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mohammed asked which libraries you use it for testing. Let me show you today. I only tested, I only use it uh, just, you see that, right? Just, I only use it just for today, but this is for unit tests. You have many layers of testing. Uh, okay. You have unit tests. You can use just for that. If you are in a JavaScript project. Okay. You have, uh, you have end to end tests. You can use other libraries for that. You could have, uh, also a smoke test. Okay, to test what's crucial in your application. We have several layers of tests. Okay, uh, start with unit tests, then uh, integration tests, and then we can spread that for many other tests in order to attend your needs. Okay, all right, let's go back here and see. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Uh, what level do I need to be to get a job at Turing? So what level, that's a great question too. So what level you need to be to get job at studying? Uh, I would say if you are capable to work by yourself, okay, if you are capable to work by yourself, uh, if you can meet the deadlines, okay, if you have a good communication and one, when I say good communication is not about English communication, English, your English skills, okay? It's good communication. Uh, you have to communicate what you are doing and you must be able to identify problems and communicate that uh, uh, as earlier as possible, okay? 
and you have to master at least one tech stack. You have to be reference in one tech stack. If it's Python, you must be uh, a good lab, Python level, okay? JavaScript, good JavaScript level. Java, good JavaScript level, okay? All right, one last question, okay? We are over time. Uh, Le Phoenix, Le Phoenix, okay. I pass all the Turing tests, but I still don't have an offer. Okay, what I recommend you to do is uh, log into developers.turing.com. Let me developers.turing.com. Developers.turing.com. Okay. And check, check your get matches. Okay, check your get matches. Uh, we usually uh, let you guys know uh, what you need in order to be improve your match uh, at Turing. Check the get matches. Okay, maybe we have some uh, message for you there. Uh, another case or to do support at Turing.com. Let me write this support at Turing.com. Support. Oops. Support at Turing.com. Send us an email with your request. Okay. As that said, that's a wrap. So that was a really nice section today. I hope you guys enjoy this. We can have, uh, we can solve problems, and at the end we can uh, take some time for answer questions. Okay, which is really great. Uh, we are over time today. Thank you all for joining this discussion today. Help me to fix my my bugs because you know I'm human, and we all. Uh, make mistakes and I made a lot of mistakes for sure every day so that's how we learn right that's how we learn all right as that said that's a wrap thank you all for joining don't forget to hit the like button okay subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed already and if you don't have an account at Turing go to Turing.com and create your profile there okay as that said take care I hope to see you again this Friday okay day after tomorrow same time, same channel. See you guys. Bye. Put some music for you. And that's all for today.